What's going on, nerds? Welcome back. My name is Sned. So, guys, today it is finally time that we start advancing to our next mode of transportation. We have, oh boy, we have quite the distance to to go until we get to the corner of the world. And by golly, we're going to make it there. Since we've been doing a lot of mechanism things lately, you've probably guessed that the mecha suit is our next mode of transportation. Now, the mecha suit by itself might not be faster than our current pneumatic set. Uh, I've raced, I've raced somebody before, one of us wearing mech armor and one of us wearing pneumatic armor, and they're pretty close. So I don't know if we're going to be faster yet. But we will be by the time we reach the next stop. Don't don't you worry about that. Overall, too, I'm a little biased. I like the mech armor better than I like the pneumatic armor. Now, the pneumatic armor is amazing. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's just, it's great. And the fact that it tells you the speed is super cool. Uh, I mean, the, the flight looks super cool. Everything about the pneumatic armor is super cool. But like I said, I'm biased. So we're going we're gonna to make the mech armor. But I have, I have a plan for afterwards that's going to help with that anyways so moving on you may or may not know this but to make the mech suit we need these guys here polonium pellets now polonium pellets are incredibly difficult to get and we will probably explode once or twice on our way here so we're gonna need polonium and the way we get polonium is through nuclear waste to get nuclear waste we're gonna need a fission reactor now, I've built fission reactors before, and I kind of, sort of, know what I'm doing. Kind of, ugh, who am I kidding? I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So we're just going to kind of wing it, you know? We're just going to go with it and see what happens. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a couple of different multi-block structures. Uh, one of which is the fission reactor. And then after that, we're going to need something called a thermoelectric boiler and a uh, uh, something turbine, so, some kind of turbine, industrial turbine. That's the word. Uh, I think this tree might need to go. Uh, let's replant it though, just because it looks nice. I guess I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, where am I putting you? Sure. I I really don't know where to put this. I really don't know what I'm doing to be honest. This is probably going to end badly, but you know what? I'm I'm here for it. I also pumped a bunch of lead through this system and we got we got lead for days now. We have like 10,000 lead or something. I don't know. We have a lot of lead. Yeah, 10,200 lead. Anyways, so, starting off, the boiler casing, I am just going to pick a spot and stick with it. That's out of bounds. This is in bounds. Let's just right here. Now I'm going to build everything to the smallest scale. I think Yeet. Um, I can't believe I just said that I'm going to build everything to the smallest scale. Everything I do today is going to be able to be scaled up, but that's not something I'm currently interested in, I guess. All right. Next up, we're going to need this superheating element. I think if N, what do you do? Modular, somewhat dangerous radiator that is capable of emitting massive amounts of heat to its surroundings. Yep, we'll take one of them. I think for this setup, we only need one. I think you could do this in a three by three. What is it? Three by three by three? Or is it four? It's like four or five or something. I think it's not a perfect cube. Something like that. Maybe I should look this up. That might be easier nah that's too easy who am i kidding i'm not doing that all right and then we place something on top of that i just don't remember what oh it's this thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this pressure disperser right to you i think a block used to disperse steam throughout a multi-block structure these should form a gapless horizontal plane in order to properly control steam flow yes it's this guy Okay, like that, I think. 
So that's three by three. Yeah, there is one more layer. I think we just close it off with blocks like this. Yes. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh, I forgot to add the. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. There and I guess here, maybe, right? We're going to need a couple of valves. So the general idea of this is we're pumping water into it and it boils the water to create steam. And we take that steam and we pump it out of here into a steam turbine. And that turbine generates power from the steam and that power is going to feed into the reactor. And then it creates water from that steam as well because it cools it down and then that's going to be pumped into the reactor to cool it, it's we're doing a water base, not a sodium based, because we're gonna need more of those, and that's a whole process in and of itself. The point is, we're we're doing just like a basic, generic, please don't let me die in a nuclear explosion kind of fission reactor. Oh no, thank you. Okay, then we could change this to input and output. So that's input only. Um, where are we building the turbine? Here, I guess. So we'll do this to output steam. And this will be to input coolant. Does that look good to everybody? I didn't know you could do that. What? Um, that just blew my mind. I, I held Z for that. If you didn't know that your, uh, your configurator could do that, now you, now you know. Anyways, so I think, I think we pump water into here and steam out of here. Hold on, I'm just thinking, I think we might need another boiler valve. Because I'm thinking we have to input heat and water and then output steam. So something like this. Yeah, so we could output steam, input water and output or input rather coolant or uh heat yeah i think i think that'll do it i think all right yeah i i think okay so let me let me think this through quick we are going to pump water into here from here right so we need a mechanical Pipe. Yes, yes. And a thingy. Um, uh, what do you call it? Ah, yes, this guy here. An electric pump. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. And then water down here. And then we'll power this thing eventually. Uh, let's do it now. Let's do it now. There we go. Water is going in. Slowly but surely. And then over here, where are my pipes? We're gonna pump heat in, but I don't think those work. Uh, we need, there's like a specific type of pipe, isn't there? Where are the pipes at? Here we are. Um, basic universal cable, basic mechanical pipe, basic pressurized tube, basic logistical transporter. Basic thermodynamic conductor. I'm willing to bet that's it. Capable of transferring heat. Okay, this is gonna fill up, I guess, slowly, eventually. We'll deal with that later. Now we need a, a turbine. Okay, so for the turbine, yeet. Um, what do we, what do we need for a turbine? I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue. I assume we're gonna need some rotors, some blades, some casing. Probably a valve or two and some vents. Oh my gosh, that fly scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's start with... I have no idea how big this thing has to be. So we're just going to wing it. Again. Uh, I know we're going to need like, I don't know, four or five of these maybe. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, a couple of these guys. Again, four or five. I think one of these holds two blades. Uh... Can we check that, actually? 
Yes, one of them holds two blades. And then, oh, oh, that's going to be fun. And then the blades get, oh, come on. The blades get bigger each time. They look weird when they fall. Wait, I have a freaking hover mode jetpack thing. Okay, that's not working well. <laughs> Whoops, I know how to fly. Okay, so like that, and then we could just boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's way too many. Um, and that's not enough blades. That might be too many blades now. It was. That's fine. Um, is that enough? I don't know. We're going to find out if that's big enough or not. So five rotors and it'll be ten blades. Eh, that should be fine. I think this has to be three by three by like seven, maybe? Oh boy, I don't know. All right, so I decided to uh, maybe not wing it and look up the uh, the mechanism wiki to try and, you know, educate myself and do this better. I got too stressed out, so we're just going to wing it. <laughs> um, I think let's build or let's build a five by five. One, two, three, four, five base for this thing. Yeah, that sounds like a big enough height, maybe. Maybe. And then these guys go here. Honestly, let's just do all five. Yep, like that. And then, uh... Is that gonna be good? Yeah, I think it'd be cool too if we do glass for the sides. Is it structural glass or is there turbine casing glass? I don't know. We'll find out. Something like that. That look good to everybody. Oh, and then I think, do we need steam dispersers or disperser, pressure dispersers? Okay, yeah, I think we need a bunch of these. Nine more like this. Am I doing this right? Something's wrong here, isn't it? Okay, I think we're good. Hopefully we see some red particles. Well, that's just depressing. I did something wrong. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll figure it out. Do these vents need to be on the outside? That feels right, doesn't it? And please give me red particles. No. So I think it's these vents. I think I'm wrong and, like, they need to be here. And please? Oh. Rotary. Oh. Oh, a connector that is placed on the highest turbine rotor. Oh, my goodness. Okay. A connector that is placed on the highest turbine rotor of an industrial turbine to carry kinetic energy into its electromagnetic coils. I'm missing a bunch of stuff. And then do these, are these used at all? Let's find out, I guess, maybe. And then finally, please, 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 red particles. No. Okay. We're missing something. Please, please, please. Red particles. This is not intuitive at all, is it? Okay. I was kind of close. Kind of. Turn off, please. Um. So, the pressure dispersers go here, according to the, the mechanism wiki. Like that. And then we place the coils like this. The wiki also mention, mentions this thing that I haven't even come across yet. A uh, saturating condenser? What the heck are you? A block that condenses steam processed by the in industrial turbine into reusable water. These can be placed anywhere in an arrangement above your rotational complex. So I guess what? We want nine of these guys? And then just here? Like that? Maybe? I'm really confident that these vents go like here. And then, hopefully, we should get some red particles. Please, red particles. Yes! Oh my goodness, yes! We have an industrial turbine! Oh, okay, okay. Yeet, okay.
And then I think, I'm pretty sure we could pipe out of those vents and into the, what do you call it? The thingy. Um, what are we doing? The fission reactor. Yes. Uh, because that'll create water and power and, oh boy, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. So let's see, uh, we need one valve, we're outputting steam from here, honestly just like right there. This will be, yeet, um, what are we, what is steam? Steam is gas, that'll output steam into the turbine. The turbine should turn steam into water, and the water, oh, and give us power. Holy smokes, that's a lot of power. Then the water and power should power the reactor. No, the reactor makes power. This also makes power. Wait, I'm confused. I'm doing something wrong here, man. I'm doing something seriously wrong. All right, so I think I might just be the biggest idiot out there. I don't think we need this boiler casing, like, at all. I don't, I don't know why I thought we did. I just thought we did. So no, no boiler for you. And instead, we're gonna build the reactor here. Yes, here. So the fission reactor, oh my gosh, the eggs, yeet, uh, the fission reactor. I don't know how big to make it. How, how big are we thinking, guys? Like, Five by five, maybe? By five? Is that a thing? So like, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Like that. We'll connect this bad boy up like that. Uh, yep. That looks good. And then we could do some reactor glass. I need some enriched iron. Fantastic. There we go. Some enriched iron. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Reactor glass. 36 should be enough, question mark. I don't know. I can't do math. Uh, each side is 9. Uh, 9 and 9 is 18. 27. Uh, 36? Maybe? Oh, look at that. I can do math. Oh, and then this side. Oh, shoot. Uh, no, go away. Satan. I should sleep, shouldn't I? Did I make that jump? I probably could have if I didn't hit my silly turbine. Okay, so fission reactor logic adapter. I think we'll probably end up making one of these just so our thing doesn't go kaboomy. And then fission reactor port. A port which can be placed on a fission reactor multi-block to transfer coolant, fuel, and waste. I think, honestly, we probably need like three of these things. One for fuel, fuel, one for coolant, which is going to be water from the turbine, and one for waste. The fission fuel assembly we'll get to. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of those? I think is how it works. One there, one there, one there. I lied. One here. Honestly, let's just throw one there too. Why not? It's not gonna hurt nothing. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The fission fuel assembly. We need, what did I just say? 15? Boop, and 15. Cool. So now, these things go on top of each other, but not next to each other, like that. And then I think, I think we just close this bad boy up. And this should be a completed reactor. What am I missing, man? Oh shoot, I realized what I forgot. I forgot these control rod assemblies. I think these top the fuel rods Collection of control rods used to halt a fission chain reaction placed on top of a tower of ah, 
Okay, so... We need five of them. We have five extra for if slash when we expand uh, assembly. What were they called? Control rod assemblies? Holy smokes. Oh, we're out of steel. Oh, that's no bueno. Okay. Uh, I love when I forget to hit the uh, the pause button. Okay. Um, Where was I? I topped them off. Topped off the, uh, the thingies with the things. Uh, the control rod assemblies. And then I finished it and it does indeed create the machine so we now have a fission reactor we are not going to start it even though you can because it will explode so we need fissile fuel which is coming but anyways so we want this to output input only output waste output coolant we want that to output coolant and it'll output uh, the steam that it makes into the turbine, the industrial turbine. And then we want, honestly, one of these inputs is probably going to go on top. Uh, just right in the middle for symmetrical reasons? I don't know. This is going to input only and that'll input coolant that gets pulled from these vents. This one will output waste. Uh, let's move that down, yeah? Down there, maybe? Now it'll... I promise I know what I'm doing. Now it'll output waste. And I forget what the nuclear waste is. Is it a fluid or solid? I have no idea. Hello, Skeletrons. <gasps> a duck! Okay, um... So. So, 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 so. Once we get this up and running, once we add thistle fuel... Where's the, uh... Coolant tank empty. We might need to add some water manually to, like, jumpstart it. Oh, wait. No. Hold on. This... Perfect. Yeah, 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 Okay, uh, give me that. And that. And there. And I'm gonna change this now because I'll forget. We want this to input only. A mechanical pipe coming in here. Right, right, right. With our pump. There we go. Our pump. Our pump. And then we'll rotate this guy. There we go. Okay, so that's pumping in water. Maybe I should upgrade this, I don't know. But, so, the coolant tank is now filling with water. Holy smokes, this coolant tank can hold a lot. Okay. Uh, the, the coolant is now filling with water. We need fuel. Oh, we're gonna need to input fuel. Do we have a port on the back? No. Um, I don't know where to input the fuel from. Maybe we output waste over there and input fuel fuel over here. Will you go away? I'm trying to think. Okay, output coolant. Input only. We'll input fuel here. That way we could build it this way. I just moved my hands like y'all could see. We'll, we'll build the fuel crafting this way. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And then over here will be an output for waste, which will end up going here-ish, somewhere around here. Okay, the uh, the fissile fuel might be a next episode thing, though, because holy smokes, my brain is fried. No, let's not. This is gonna be this is gonna be a project and a half. I am sure of it. Yeah, let's let's do that next episode. Does that sound good to everybody? What do we what do we need left? We need to produce fissile fuel. We need to make sure that this setup is gonna work. I have no idea if it is. Oh, check it out. You can see the water in the fusion reactor. Fission reactor. Nope, they're different start to uh come in i need to upgrade that pump i think also guys i'm really thinking pretty soon we end up going to uh like the moon because oh boy sand is getting incredibly difficult to uh gather so if you'd like to see that let me know you, you want me to go to the moon next episode instead of fissile fuel we could probably do both who knows i don't know man 
if you want me to go to the moon, let me know. Ad Astro is now in the pack. It's been in for a while. Uh, so that's something we could do. Why did I want this? I don't even remember at this point. Oh, right. I was doing uh, uh, speed upgrades. Boop. Boop. Let's just go ahead and throw that in here. 160k FE per tick. Oh, boy. Please be okay, power. This is filling faster, I think. Who knows, man? Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay.